Hello guys, welcome back to Sedix Rabbit. My name is Sedix, a young and passionate rabbit farmer here in Ghana. So today's video is going to be an update of the farm. It's been a while since I uploaded a new video. So this video is going to show you guys the updates that I have for you. Alright, so so far so good. We've had three doses producing for us this month, and by next month too, we should be expecting some more kit to come. All right. So my experience of this farm has been going great okay from feeding to breeding i've been experimenting especially with the feeding i've been experimenting a lot a lot right so that i can get the best of the ingredients to make my feed for my rabbit especially with the breeders okay so this doe right here gave us five kids she gave us six but we lost one so now making five and this second doe gave us six kids all right and the third doe to give us six kids but unfortunately that was a stillbirth all right it was up to the uh, 30th day then she delivered and they were all dead right as you can see on your screen they were all dead so the fourth one to give us five kids and so we had four females producing for us but we lost one doe with the old kids and also we lost one in this litter right so now we are left with um three dose to produce for us so we will be breeding them this month so that by next month we'll be having new kits coming in as well and so by next year january these kits will be ready to be weaned and sold out okay yes so with my feeding experience it has been going really really great okay it has been going really really great because this is like the ninth day of delivery and uh, I haven't given them um, any medication yet. They haven't been on any medication since they delivered, right? And I can see that they've been having good time eating this feed and, you know, taking care of the kids. And also, I was not stressed when it comes to the feeding of the kids. I was not stressed at all. I know, yeah, time is going on so by next week next two weeks when the kids start coming out of the box they can start chasing the mother to get some breast milk but with the first doe she's a first time mother so i had to you know force feed the kids they want so that she can get used to it you know so that she can be getting inside the box to feed them even when i'm not around so that is what exactly happened okay so the first day she delivered i forced fed the kids and the second day i came i saw that okay the kids are, are you know okay their stomach is well rounded meaning she was able to enter inside the nesting box to feed the kids so this means that i have no problem with that okay so i can just leave the kids inside and she'll be taking care of them now we have you know few meals here that i'm using you know the new zealand and the new bag i have which is the cinnamon okay the new bag is just a new breed that i brought in it was about four months old when i brought it and so the first time i used it to breed was last month and i used it on the third do okay i used it on the third do which gave us a stillbirth and some of the factors that you know brought up this stillbirth was he was a first time breeder okay so the semen wasn't too strong to be able to conceive with the eggs right in my opinion that's what caused the stillbirth because he's a, he's a first timer right so we bred two does with that new back and the first do didn't give us anything on the 30th day she didn't give us anything and the second do too had stillbirth you know six uh, kids were all dead okay but with the third do that we used to breed she was able to give us six kids without any problem okay so what i have experienced is that having a new back when you breed it the first time the second time there is likely a chance that you are not going to have litters okay because he's a first timer but as time goes on the third breeding fourth breeding then you can start getting some kids out of it okay so the third do as i said she gave us six kids and she is a new zealand so i crossed the cinnamon with the new zealand giving us 
you know two black rabbits one cinnamon and one palomino okay that's the the uh the, the breeze i see here two uh black which are the beverage you know they are they are very very dark and the palomino with one cinnamon so i'll try it again i'll try the meal on the uh three dose i have left and whatever happens i know that yes this is the reason why it happened you know so as a farmer you need to always you know know your breeds okay you should be spending some time with the breed so that you can know them very very well especially new breeders okay new doe you have you want to start breeding you should always make sure that you you'll be looking at her from time to time her behavior when you breed her how she behaves when she gives birth how she behaves with the kids that can end up showing you that this female will be a good mother or not okay so the and let me just flip this so that you can you can have a look at the kids okay so this is the first door we have here the kids are inside this is her third litter this is her third litter the first litter we had about five kids the second litter we didn't get anything that was you know first pregnancy and the third one she gave us six but we lost one so as you can see they are new zealand breeds right because i use my new zealand white to breed this female okay she is also a new zealand white so they gave me the same color as them and this is the second doe right here she i bred her with the cinnamon rabbit and just look at this amazing kits she produced for us right so take a look at this one right here at the corner it looks like flemish giant these are the two satin rabbits you have two cinnamon and this palomino right here okay this is the palomino these are the satin rabbit there are two and we have two cinnamon rabbits right here which i think this one too would be a flemish giant produced by a new zealand and a cinnamon okay this is my third though we had the still birth that's the second uh, um time i used the meal to breed her and we got the still birth and this is our fourth dough she gave us five kids as well these are the kids five kids i use this female to breed with my uh you know new zealand meal as well that's why you got the color in my opinion right and so far so good my feed has been going so so great so 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 great i have been you know keeping records each and every time with the weight with their health health conditions and some other factors to consider right yeah so that's just the update for today and i hope this video has given you some overview of the farm what's going on and what we should be expecting in the next month that's coming all right so yes that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and just don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there to get notification whenever i upload a new video so until next time peace